If you are unable to meet your financial goals in 2023, this video is for you. If you don't know how all your money disappeared in 2023, this video is for you. If you think that your village people are pursuing you and finishing all your money, this video is for you. Today, I come in peace. I'm going to say that right off the bat. But I'm going to just make a very realistic video that is going to throw most of us under the bus, myself inclusive, because a lot of the things I'm going to list out today are things that I practice. Yes. It's going to be a very helpful video. It's going to let you know some of the things that are not important in your life that are holding you back financially. The first thing we talk about is extravagant one-year-old parties. Yes, I said it. I said it. I do not know why you are spending hundreds of thousands or millions of naira on the birthday of a little child who does not know anything. Who will not even remember that birthday? I've seen so many... <laughs> examples of people just throwing lavish birthdays, having fashion shows, having all kinds of extravagant things put together just for a child who just wants to be left alone, who wants to lie down and have a good nap. I mean, when I see these things, I ask myself, or I feel like you should ask yourself, is it that you are really trying to celebrate that child or are you trying to recapture something that you feel like you lost? when you are a kid or something because for everything that we do there must be some level of impact is it entertainment is it enjoyment is it to make this child happy what is really the aim when you spend that amount of money on a one-year-old's birthday party it is of no essence if you truly look at it so money that could be better spent on other things now being redirected to the shenanigans that's where your money is going to it's not necessary don't do it. The next place that all your plenty money is going to, women especially, and even some men, so I'm not excusing you, is in buying clothes, in buying things, in buying shoes, in buying things that you wear. You have 20 colors of the same thing. Oh, when you see the next one on social media, oh, you, you, you don't have this color, but not exactly this shade, not this type. You are buying and buying and buying and buying. And I'm telling you, the more you buy, the more you want to buy. The more you look, the more you want to buy. It just seems that there are things being produced every single day and you want some of it. You want the latest style. You want this. You want that. Or you want the skirt. You want the trouser. You, oh, this trouser doesn't fit this shirt. I know. I I know the problems. I identify deeply and seriously with you. But at the end of the day, you have all those clothes. Some of us don't even have anywhere that we're going to with those clothes. So we just have them stacked in the wardrobe and we're looking at them. It just makes us, it brings us joy. It brings us happiness. We don't wear them. We're looking for occasions to wear them to the occasions are not coming. The things are dying in your closet. Or you can't, it, your closet is so loaded that you can't even find some of the things that you've bought. So some things are left behind and uh, you're wearing the same things over and over again. Or some of the things that you bought are not fitting you anymore and you can't let go of it. You're buying more and more and more and it's just such a big load in your life but you can't help yourself my brother my sister can you not see that this thing is an addiction do you not see <laughs> that this thing is no longer in your control that it has taken hold of you you can't help it you can't tell yourself you know what i'm not going to buy anything for the next three months and keep to it if you can't do that, then that means the thing has you on a chokehold and you're wasting money that can be used to do other things for investment, for savings. Let's be honest with ourselves. This is where all your money is going to. The next thing that's finishing your money is spending all your time, all your time on social media. Or even if you are not spending all your time on social media, you are spending more time than necessary on social media. You are not a content creator. You don't have any business on social media. But a good percentage of your time is spent there. What are you doing? Wasting valuable time. Have you ever heard the saying that time is money? Oh, yes. So imagine how many money-making ideas you could possibly be getting if you would just drop that phone and sit down quietly and put your brain to work. And look, I'm not accusing you here because... I, I also understand that it can be quite an addiction. But in case you're wondering, 
Why is it that I wasn't able to meet all my goals? Why wasn't I able to come up with many money-making ideas? It is because social media is sucking your brain and sucking your time. Imagine all that time spent on there. Imagine all the skills you could have acquired. Imagine the certifications you'd have got. Imagine... I mean, there's so many things to imagine. Let's not even talk about because this is not what this video is about. But imagine how much time you'd have spent in prayer and studying the word of God if you were not on social media. Maybe even God would have downloaded some financial mysteries to you. But no, 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 no. You just get, you know, you just get some kind of joy and relaxation. You know, ah, let me just relax and just be scrolling, scrolling my money away. Hey. Another thing that is finishing all your money and preventing you from meeting your financial goals is attending every single event that you have been invited to and being part of the Ashwebi. There is no Ashwebi that you are not a part of. You are a part of the Ashwebi for people that you know and then for people that you don't know. You just have to be out every weekend. You need to ask yourself. What is going on? Is it that I do not like my own company? Is it that I, I cannot sit down in my own house on a Saturday? It's just weird for you to sit down in your own house on a Saturday. No, there must always be some kind of money that you're spending. 200,000 on this as should be, 100,000 on that other one. Association of people who like to go and chop rice. Association of school, association of church. You're in all the associations and you're paying all the dues and you are going for all the events and you're wearing all the uniforms. Are you the only person in the world? Why don't you allow other people to go for those meetings, eh? Once in a while, give other people a chance. Ask yourself, but why don't I like my own company? Why can't I just sit down? Why can't I just be by myself? Why can't I just have nothing to do? That's a serious question to ask yourself. Now, I'm all for socializing, being part of a bigger system, pouring into other people and allowing them to pour into you. But moderation is key and if all these commitments are eating into your finances then you need to really sit down and take stock and decide which and which are important and which and which can i let go of the next thing that's finishing all your money <laughs> is eating out at the slightest provocation you are just you have just made it a habit you eat out for no reason you don't like to eat in your house you don't like to cook in your house i'm not saying you shouldn't go out and eat too but i'm saying that it should be something that should be planned and should be budgeted for. We all like once in a while to, you know, go out and taste what somebody else cooks. It's not every day that you want to eat what you have cooked. But not every week. Every single week, you're finding yourself eating here multiple times a day. You're ordering out, you're ordering in. And it's really easy for us. Delivery can just happen in an instant and you're taking advantage of it. And those meals are so expensive. You know that you can eat a meal and that the money that you spend on that meal is what you will use in taking care of yourself for maybe a couple of weeks. Now, if you can afford it, I guess you can go ahead and do it. But the truth is, even if you can afford it, wouldn't that money be put to better use? So, of course, go out and eat and have a fine time with yourself, but don't make it as a habit. Let's not even go into talking about the fact that Eating out is not so healthy. You have been talking things about losing weight, losing weight, losing weight, losing weight in 2022. But you eat out every week, my dear. It's not going to work. First of all, your money is going and your health is also going. So it's something to think about, okay? Another thing that is finishing all your money is that you are celebrating everything in grand style. You will celebrate your 22nd birthday. Your 22nd and a half birthday, you will also celebrate that one. Oh, when you go out and come back, you celebrate that. And I'm not saying you shouldn't celebrate and be thankful to God, but must we spend money and do a big shindig for something that does not mean anything? I mean, people are celebrating 40th birthday, 50th birthday, then you on your 36th birthday, you decide that, you know what? Yes, um, I'm going to have a very big party. Every year, you spend money on parties, on anniversaries, or birthdays for your children, you spend plenty money. Uh, anniversary, plenty money. That is money that you can actually use for better things. Now, if you have loads of it, fine. But now, the problem is where you don't have so much money, but you insist on celebrating everything because, you know, you only live once. Well, in case you are wondering, it is not your village people that are making it so that your account is on red and that you are not meeting all those goals. It is that person. Look in the mirror. 
you are the person mm? so please guys if you're getting value from this video just help me to hit the like button subscribe share and let other people know how they're able to save their money and uh, help their financial life the final thing i'm going to talk about that is finishing all our money i've been saying your money but i mean our i don't mean <laughs> please don't be angry with me you know so another thing that is sales sales this whole sales the idea of sales and to be honest i'm very suspicious when they say things are on sale you know and maybe it's just the nigerian girl in me that just always looks at it and like oh really sale are you sure this is not the original price that it was supposed to be you're selling this thing at a loss and i've been educated and told that yes it does happen that things are sold and when it's no, they're no longer in season they're sold at a giveaway price but we must not always be part of those sales no matter what did i say if you i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself we must not always be part of these sales you're looking you already have a good blender then you want to buy another blender why because it's on sale you already have an air fryer now you want to buy you know no this one is is three cm i want to buy the one that's three and a half cm you just take advantage whenever you hear promo you it just does something to you inside like promo 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 you can't buy somebody a good deal and then at the end of the day you end up buying things that you may not need you end up spending money that you could have kept, invested, saved, you know? There will always be sales. That is what I've been trying to remind myself of lately. There will always be sales. There will be sales this week. There will be sales. In fact, there are some people who are continuously running sales every single month. And you're wondering that, wait, too. wait, what's going on? If you're running sales every single week, when are you actually selling for the proper price? Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, just how to hold back your appetite generally is what i'm saying and make sure that you are not impulsively doing things and spending money and having generally poor discipline it's not something that i have mastered myself but i know that it is something to aspire to so so let's try and make a change coming 2024 so at the end of the year accounts will be on red we would have saved enough and we would you know have graduated from where we are at this point if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye